Hi. Um, the tropical storm just really went to town all the way up the East Coast from, you know, all different parts, all different states causing, you know, tornadoes and floods. And I lived in Florida. And we went through 10 hurricanes and I forget, tropical storms and enormous downpours. But the first hurricane we went through was Charlie. Charlie, we had only lived in Florida a couple of months. And we were still trying to get used to where things, where things were. And we had no idea how to prepare for a hurricane. Uh, we, just, we just didn't. After it was over, it looked like a war zone. There were trees everywhere. We were in central Florida, and meteorologists had said that it was going to be hitting on the west coast, like Tampa area. Well, they evacuated people from Tampa, and they sent them into Orlando. It got easier as we knew what, or semi what to expect from hurricanes. And once the storm was over, you relax. You try to fix whatever damage you have. You take down plywood off your windows. And you just try to get back to whatever normal was for you before it happened. Storms in life are the same thing. When there's a storm that comes through your life, you try to prepare as much as possible. And when it's over, you just try to get back to whatever you need to change as quickly as you possibly can. And if you can't get back to, let's say you can't get back into your house, you have to find another place to live. You have to find, you know, someplace else. You find a way to survive. Now, there's another side to hurricanes and tropical storms and natural disasters, and that's National Guard, reservists, and other first responders, including the men and women that are, you know, getting these trees cleaned out and getting electricity back up and running demanding the hospitals for, for the injured on top of dealing with the ones that the citizens with the pandemic. People are under a lot of stress after the storm has gone through our lives. It went through theirs too, but they are the ones that have even more stress after the storm. They prepare to take care of everybody else. And after the storm is over, they keep taking care of everybody else. So today's video is called PTSD I Grieve. I did it about, uh, I think it was about five years ago. And I did it for National Guard and, and Reservists dealing with PTSD. But the group that I was with at the time told me that they were using it with police and firefighters. To help them heal. So after the storm has passed through our lives and the sun came back out today, sun shining again, I think it'd be a good time to just put that video back up again. Because um, I, I think citizens really need to stop and think what they go through. And Say a few extra prayers for them. And if you are just a regular person dealing with a lot of stress in your life, dealing with PTSD, remember, the storm does pass. And things get good again. Don't give up on that. Work at it. See you tomorrow.